You, have, you Thank can't you, Father. give what you haven't got, but you can start saying the Lord's going to give me so I can give. That's others. right. Amen. We're right. the half of right. the Yes. Does that mean IOUs? No. But Only you know, if your IO can okay. be paid before Sunday. Yeah. Amen. Let's all stand. Are we on? Yes, we are. Praise God. Good to have you with us. Good to be in the greatest church in the world. Woohoo! Amen. Give us revelation, wisdom to, to, to hear what you have to say in this video or, or just ministering to each other, God. Tonight, minister to us. We need you to keep doing exactly what you're doing and more, God. Get us in that place. We are in revival mode right now. There's yeah. people adding all, all over the place. And God, we're ready for you to add to this church as well. In Jesus' name, we love you, we praise you, we thank you for what you're doing. Would you give a thunderous hand clap for us? out of your mouth and what you give faith to. We are 
going to be in a better place this year at the church than we've ever been. Ever been. Why? Because we look around and we see that it's happening? Not necessarily. But faith believes even before it's even happened. That's right. We have to believe. We got, we got somebody that's very dear to us tonight that just started coming for whatever reason is in jail for a bad decision. Welcome to the boat that we're all in. We all make bad decisions. Yes. But make no mistake. God takes that right there and says, I know you need that. And I put you there so that you can grow and be what you need to be. You say, is it the will of God that that person is in there? I feel confident that it is. Absolutely. Yeah. Because there's something in all of us that God needs to get out. You can't walk in the world and walk in the Spirit. No. It's not going to happen. And God says, I can't get you there unless I get some things out of you. And God knows that he's getting things out of us all the time. But here's the thing. It's all that we have to go through to get to that place. I go through things, you go through things, and we don't like it. But God knows exactly what we're going through. But it's time to believe. Bills not getting paid, God knows. Things not where they should be, God knows. But faith says, I don't care what it looks like. God. Everybody say God. 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 God, God can turn things around. <laughs> I'm just going to say this right now. And I'm not going to say it even though I want to say it. But there's two things that are happening right now. That if they happen to this church, will change everything that we're doing. I think that we have changed, and our mentality has changed, that God says, finally, I was waiting for you guys to get to that place right there so that I can add to what you're doing. Yes. Amen? Yes. <laughs> Stubbornness has got to go. Laziness has got to go. Complacency has got to go. And worldliness has got to go. Yes. Worldliness has to go. The more worldliness that I have and you have, the farther away the kingdom of God is. But when we start getting into the Word, we start praying, we start pressing in, then all this stuff starts to fade away, and then we're right in the place where God wants us. And that's what's happening in this church right now. We're getting to the place where God wants wow. us. So now he's lining things up. I like that. I like what you're doing. I like the steps that you're making. The things that you said tonight. Let's not go to men's meeting on next Thursday night. Let's take the men's meeting to a guy who needs Jesus. These are things that this church should be doing all along. Yeah. It'll turn our city and our world and people around. Just love about going to use me because I don't want to be used. It's gone. God's going to just, if, if you're going to do something for God, now is the time. Or he'll just keep moving, and you'll fall off. And that's not a threat. It's just what it is. People that are here are here because they're supposed to be. But watch what's coming next. You just watch what God has coming through that door. And maybe maybe not even that door. Maybe another door. You never know where God's <laughs> yep, taking this yep. church. But make no mistake, we are going to some great places in the Lord now. That's Finally, right. we got it. Right. Let's give the Lord praise. We Woo! Praise <laughs> and annoying, but I'm going to say it anyway. We're going to have some people filled with the Holy Spirit. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that irritating people speaking in tongues all over the place? Oh, I love it when people say, I don't know if I want to do that. Guess what? You're going to do it right here. <laughs> <laughs>
yourself, but just relax. <laughs> Video's coming. Video's coming. But you know what? This church's heart needs to be in the right place. And it starts with this guy right here. This guy is in the right place, finally. Thank you. And I don't mind. I don't mind. I'm in the right place. I got, I got beat up by the Lord, and I'm at a great place. But now it's time for the church to get into a place where we're so in tune with God that there ought to be people get baptized all the time, filled with the Spirit all the time, healed all the time. Miracles, signs, and wonders. No more, no more begging anybody to come. Now we're just going to sit here and have great church. And the Lord says in the book of Acts that he adds to the church day. He adds to the church day. I gotta shut up. I gotta say this one more thing. I, you know, ever since we got these, or I, I know I got one. Yeah, I got one. I got one. So, and, you know, I, I was sitting. I drove up to Minnesota meeting to have pizza, and I got out of my car, and this lady's smoking a cigarette, and she's just over to the side, and I said, you know what? I haven't passed enough of these out. And I looked at the lady, and I said, man, how are you doing? She goes, I'm doing okay. And I said, go to church. She said. Uh, nope. I said, you want it? You want to go to church? She said, no. I said, all right. I said, I walked over and I said, listen, I passed her church right over here. I want you to come. And she said, but I'm a smoker. I'm a drinker. I'm this or that. And I said, that's great. You're so perfect to come to this church. Yeah. Like, I was excited to say it. She took the cards. She gladly took the cards because this don't give us the stale, stagnant church people. They look great. Give us downright sinners that can see you. Give us people that need Jesus. I want, I want, I want some people. I want people to come in that say, Pastor, you don't really want me here. I'm so messed up. And I want to say, hey, the guy you're looking at you is messed up. Because this church is on course to change this city. Yes. And the reason I, I tell me how how are, who all are we reaching right now? We've got people in Africa we're ministering to that are watching. Yep. We've got yep. people Mexico, in Kenya, Kenya, Mexico, Uganda, Alabama, Texas, Philippines, we got Michigan, Philippines, Israel, Israel. Anybody else? Yeah. Right now, as you guys know, and these guys will tell you that are watching. Our, our crowd is growing and growing. I, I spent yesterday two hours on the phone with somebody from the prayer line. And I just sat there and I prayed with her and I, my wife, and we prayed with her together. And then all of a sudden, an anointing just got, over, got on this lady and she said, let me tell you something. And I said, what? Well, she said, this church is going crazy places in the Lord. She said, you can't do what you guys are doing. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. Hallelujah. We're about to have a huge youth group. Yes. Yes. Kids ministry. We don't have to have Kurt Franklin. Those guys hide behind the wall. We're going to have uh, a locket band. <laughs> yep. well, I appreciate them guys humbling themselves. We're actually going to get band members in here yeah. right. playing. Yeah. We're going to get so many things going on. We have, whether you know it or not, we have the favor of God. That's right. We have the favor of God. I want you to say this individually. I want you to say, I, I have, have the favor. Have the favor. Wait, 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 wait. But this is not paid. That's not paid. Everything's falling apart. No, you have the favor of God. Don't you see how my brother comes and he peeks and he sees what's going on? It's just the Lord saying, I'm drawing you a little bit closer. <laughs> but you know what? You can only get so close to the fire before you get burned. <laughs> so it's going to suck him in and before he knows that <laughs> yep. he's going to be, instead of serving the Antichrist, he's going to be serving Jesus Christ. That's right. <laughs> Woo! Anyway, Annie, tonight uh, we're supposed to be having a visit from a contractor to see about the ceiling. A friend of mine, I hope he said he's going to come tonight. He doesn't make it. He will make it this week. 
We're going to get an estimate on the ceiling to get fixed. Um, do you want to give to that? Or somebody is going to give. If not, somehow, some way, we're going to get the money to raise to get the ceiling. Probably about two or three thousand dollars. Um, however, God's going to do that. We're going to do that. We're going to get air conditioning in here. Right. We're going to get. We're going to get this place looking amazing for the Lord. Um, we got the Israel trip. We need about. Listen, folks. We need about a hundred bucks, and that's it. To send that five hundred dollars to yeah. Israel, that's only right. hundred bucks away. Got the church payment that we need to think about. We got all of this going on, but God knows um, God's going to bless people that give to this because He wants us to look better. I believe that God's going to help us to get there. Amen. 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 Jesus, we love you. Bless the tithes and offerings. Thank you, Father. Bless those that can give. Bless those that can't give, Father. Amen. We love you and we thank you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Go ahead. <laughs> you got to do car washes, that's all right. Whatever we got to do. Amen. Just can't do it on the weekend of the 21st of June. Of June? Yes. We're going to do it on hopefully before then. Yes. Not, the, not Memorial Weekend, too. Oh, I was thinking of which. Since this. We want to do some, it's also Memorial Weekend. Are you, is everybody going to be here? Memorial Weekend, plus it's also Pastor and his wife's birthday on Monday the 26th. So I was thinking about us doing some kind of church. We used to, remember we used to do the church barbecues at the, at the park and stuff? Oh, I want to do, hold up. We're going to have it at Rick's house, house, right? Well, My birthday? I hadn't even yeah. talked about that. We can either have it at my house, or we can do it at Rick's house, or if anybody else has to take enough house, they want to do it. All right. If it's warm enough, Is my mom's... going to be a jumper? No. I got a pool at mom's house. I tried. I got in one at Pop, so I can't go in those anymore. How about a train? <laughs> no. Oh. Now you're getting over budget. We just want food. And All right. We're going to really fast. If I can do this really fast, I want to do something... I want us to really quick, I want us to pray for Danny. Um, they visited us last Sunday. Was that last Sunday or Sunday before? Sunday before. Uh, yeah. is, is going to, unless he has God minister to him, he doesn't have much long, longer to live. We need to pray for that. My wife, her house needs to sell. Yes. We need that to happen. We've had 20-something people look at it. Nobody's made an offer. That needs to sell. We need um, the Lord to minister to Julie. He talked for today. She's in jail. We need God to do what he's doing. But it sounds like he is. Um, yep. Julie she's with, back uh, on board. Lori. Yep. yep. Anybody else, real quick, you have a prayer request? Something real quick, you pray like yeah. Special unspoken. Special unspoken. Prayer request for uh, to save a marriage. One of my friends called to okay. the subconscious. Okay. Amen. Okay. Amen. Yep. A job possibility. Job possibility. Amen. Okay. Oh, Damon has a job possibility. Job possibility for Damon. Amen. Anything else? Now's your chance. Well, the fire's here. Put it out yeah. there. Yes. Mom's health. Mom's health. Amen. I lift up Lori, too, like you said, just, just that the Lord will continue to work on her and just break off any hardness of heart and, and give her strength. Yes. Um, I believe he already has, but I want to, uh, that uh, something will break with housing. Yes, and you know what? I got a feeling that we need to pray uh, for Vivian. She needs to be back here. I don't know why I'm feeling that, but I pray for that. She's stubborn, but God knows she needs to be here. Um, pray for Robert. I'm not saying he needs to be here. He doesn't need to be here. Just, Just pray, pray for, for Robert. Him. Pray for Sam. Pray for Ronette. Ronette. Pray for Henry, Andrea, sure. Andrea, Michael. And what sure. if Carmen and some of the other people online, so we lift them up. Carmen's trying to get here, actually, guys. Church, she's wants to come here and be part of the uh, testimony that I can't talk about. Yeah. Cheryl. Okay. Cheryl. Cheryl. Now it's part of the huge testimony. Did you all right. Say Cheryl? I don't know. Perez, all right. Um, pray for Cheryl. Perez in South Perez. Africa. She yeah, needs her mother to be home with her. Yes. Miss, so let's all stand. <laughs> let's lift these knees to the Lord Jesus. Jesus, thank you. God, we love you right now. We praise you. We thank you, Jesus, for that. Thank you. Fire and passion, Lord. Yes. God, we don't even have to come to you right now to beg. We don't have to do that, Father. Mm. We can come with boldness into your throne because you're our Father. You're our Daddy. You're the one that we come to and just say, God, we have these needs. And your word says that you know what they are even before we know what yes. they are. And God, we come to you. We lay them at your feet and we say, minister to these needs. 
God, this man Danny, I want the Holy Ghost to hit him yes. and let him change in the name of Jesus. Jesus come to yes. you before it's too late. God, Christy's mom, for this yes. to finally be where it needs yes. to be, this complete healing, God. Mm. All the special unspoken, the financial needs, the victories that are in this house, the things that need to happen. Lord, I pray right now, something that is not even mentioned, but we pray right now with us in the Spanish church, God. We lay this situation at your feet mm. to have to let your will be done, God. I ask right now for the right buyer to come for this house to be sold. Yes. And God, we pray for all the finances, Lord, for the finances for Israel, for this church payment, God, mm. for us, for Mother's Day, for everything that we need for this church, God. Yes. We pray right now Thanks. for all the family, the people that are not here, the people that are online. We pray right now. Yes. We give these things to you yes. because you are a prayer answering God. Yes. We thank, thank you, Jesus, you, Father. Oh, for where Jesus. you're taking us. Yeah, and lift up so Jamie too on that back you. thing, Pastor. The so back, great. that it, that injury, Jamie, yeah. in Amen. her back. Yes, we lift that up. Oh. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Thank Let's you. Give the Lord a hand. Thank you. Amen. I just say one more thing. I don't want anybody this Sunday burying themselves at the altar and crying. No offense, because I feel like that there's times that you have to do that. We're coming in with rejoicing. We're coming in with passion. We're coming in with faith. Even though it's Mother's Day, we're coming in believe. Your problem is not near as bad as you think. Let's play that video. All right. All right, we love you. We'll be back in a few. And yeah, and as far as we'll be back, we're going to watch the video. Sorry you guys can't join us if you can see me, um, but we will put it back on to discuss what we learned and just get into it and find out what the Lord wants to teach us about Revelation. And you can email or Facebook us or call us to get your prayer requests in, right? Um, and then we'll take care of it. You call us at the prayer hotline at, at uh, what is it, 1-844-PRAYERS with a Z. Thanks.